here we are in Everglades National Park. This is right there. That's the beginning of the Hell's Trail Canoe, Hell's Bay Canoe Trail. And I'm going to do some camping out there in the Chickies. You guys can hear that, that's a woodpecker. <laughs> this right here is the map. And it says three miles to Lark Can, which is this one from here, from here, this one. Then 3.5 miles to Pearl Bay. Those are the chickies, that's a land camping site. And then the last one is 5.5 miles. So, hmm. And that's why they call it Hell's Bay. All right, here we are. All packed up, ready to go. It's gonna be two nights and three days so I got in this blue bag is my clothes water some stuff some drinks food the white one chair some tackle I got it in reach and camp stuff cooking hammock all that other stuff it's about, it looks like it's about like two feet deep. And from what I can see in there, I'm not going to be able to use the kayak paddle. So I'm going to have to, I have it separated so I can use it like a uh, canoe paddle. When I was putting the boat, the kayak in, something right here came in the water. And I see this right here. Don't know if that's where a gator comes up at. One hour later, still paddling in this. <clears throat> it is getting wider, as you can see here. But whenever I hook up the paddles together, see here's where you gotta figure out. It, it seems to be that when there's a marker on the left-hand side of a curve, that's the curve you gotta take. That's what I've been figuring out. Now it's deep. Oh, there's a marker over here. So see, that one was wrong. You just gotta pay attention. Because you could really miss them. See that one right there inside the tree? So now you go around that curve. There's a 
nước The markers are getting there's a lot more areas to go into and the markers are getting a lot harder to see I took another wrong turn So far it's 1023. You can see the wind how it's just pushing me around now. mangrove line then I'll be more protected from the wind and you can see it up ahead you can probably see it that's large can campsite I'm gonna stop there have some lunch stretch my legs my back walk around see what it looks like Here's the rod and it's rod holder. Just met some nice people. They, they were here for lunch too. They are in a canoe. I don't know if you can see them right And they stayed at Hell's Bay Chicky, which is the one I'm going to tomorrow, which is further. Pearl Bay Chicky is not too far down, she told me. Then after that one comes Hell's Bay Chicky. <sighs> All right. I'll show you around in here once I get off. All right, success. I got off, then it landed in the water. There's some people over there. Those came from Pearl Bay. I guess they're going back. But let me show you around. Let me fix the camera first. Cause it's slanted on here. Here's the restroom. It's a porta potty. Looks clean. Oh, broken roof. So you can't get out of it in the rain. You can't get out of the rain if it's raining and you want to get in here.
Then here's the little dock. And here is the campsite, that's all it is. It's pretty muddy. Hmm. Oh, real muddy. And as much as this is what people, ah, oh, my feet are all wet now. You're in here and you don't have no view at night basically I see another one over here but it's completely wet I'm walking in soggy soggy ground Let's see where this one goes I guess this one back here is if you want to be way away from the water. Yeah, this one feels a lot drier here. Yeah, this is drier. Huh. Pretty neat. Other than now I got wet feet, wet shoes. Whoa, whoa. Let's we'll sit here and take a break and enjoy some lunch. And do some fishing. Pearl Bay Chicky out there. There's home for the night. And I got some visitors. Or they have visitors. We're here. 
he has visitors. A single person. tricky as you can see it is windy I mean real windy so everything that you don't want to fly away has to be tied and everything else is heavy so I can't even set up my hammock because it's so windy I can't even set it up so I have it ready all I gotta do is just pull it out hook it up on the other side, that corner, right in there. Then, my, my neighbor back there behind me says last night there were so many dolphins swimming around here that he says there were so many dolphins swimming around here that he couldn't even sleep because they were just splashing all around. set up my chair, eat me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and just wait for this wind to die down and then maybe I'll go fishing around because there is absolutely no way I can do anything. When I set up my chair, I'll show you I gotta tie it to make sure if it pulls away and it lands in the water that at least I can pull it over. My chair down try to do some fishing now here's my view Saltwater catfish. Even though here comes somebody else. Even though you can't see the bottom, it's about probably like four feet. Four yes yeah, about four feet deep. And I'm fishing like I fish up north. That's a goat. Heading back home. Empty handed. No fish. I had to improvise to get out of the wind. So I'm going to hang my hammock from there. There, so I'm guessing the wind's gonna be blowing all night from this side, and at least it won't be so windy because you can tell the difference when you're sitting right here big difference. first night got everything set up I'm gonna do some probably some rice with chicken I got some bad chicken and some rice that you just boil 